All right, everyone, here's how we're gonna start to sketch out our ideas for our final monochromatic painting. I have my white paper, my final paper. I'm gonna write my name on the back. And then I'm gonna start to sketch out uh, my big ideas for my painting. So my idea is going to be a landscape. And I know that I want um, some hills that look like they're going way back into the distance. So I'm not gonna sketch every detail, just some big um, ideas, some bigger details. So I will just start to sketch out the hills that I want to be in my landscape. And I'm just gonna sketch some really simple shapes. I'm not gonna get too crazy with my details just sketching out my simple shapes for now. Maybe I want some um, buildings to be in the background so I can start to sketch out some buildings. Maybe that could be one of my values. Uh, maybe some more hills in the background. So remember, you only need five values. So wherever your five values are going to be, you're just gonna sketch out those big shape areas. Don't get too hung up on the details. So once I think I have everything kind of planned out, my big areas of where my values are going to go, um, I'm gonna get a paint tray. And on this paint tray, you're gonna scoop the colors that you need. So remember, monochromatic means one color plus black plus white. So you don't need very much of black and white, just a tiny little about quarter size. So at the counter, you're gonna find trays that look like this. You're gonna use a popsicle stick to skip, scoop any of the colors that you need onto your tray. So just, a, again, a little quarter size bit of each color. Try and stick uh, your colors to being to the side so that you have lots of space to mix on. Okay, so I need um, a brush and then I need my tray with my water cup and my um, rag to wipe my brush on. So um, I think my plan is going to be that my hills are gonna start really dark and then get really lighter as they go back in the, into the distance. So I think my middle value will be right around this area. So I'll start to just paint these hills um, a reddish color. So without any mixing, I can just paint these, my middle value, my one color. So your goal is to make sure you have at least five different values somewhere in your painting. Kind of like we practiced with our value scales. You had many different values of this red color or whatever color you chose. So five or more values is your goal for this painting. So let's say I wanna get a little bit um, darker as I go down. I know that I need to take a little bit of red and mix it only with a tiny bit of black because remember black is very overpowering and get kind of a maroon darker value of red. So if that looks like a nice even step from red to one value down, then I can use this to paint my next big area. Now the tricky part of this painting is gonna be mixing up enough color so that you can cover your whole space because we don't wanna be able to see the paper through our paint. So you're gonna to have to mix up a big enough pile to make nice smooth paint areas. We don't want this paint to look like watercolor paint. We want it to look um, nice and smooth and even. Okay, so I'll keep going down from there. I will maybe mix up a little bit more black and red. So maybe I'll take another pile and mix up a little bit of more black. Now, if that looks like it's a if that looks like it's darker than that pile, then I'm on the right track. But if it doesn't, I might need to add more black to it. Okay, so I can do a little test here. Yep, that's darker. So I can use that for this big area right here and paint this whole space with my darker value. And then once I painted this space, I'll get a little darker here. Maybe this could even be just black. So I'll keep adding those spaces of color. Now remember what I need to do if I wanna add a lighter value here. I need to use red and white to make a lighter value for these areas right here. So let's see, I already have one, two, three, four values. Um, I only need five, so I just need one more here. And if I wanna go and get an exceeds and go above and beyond, I can do more values up here. Now let's talk about the details that you're going to add to the top here. Once you have your five values kind of painted out, then you can start to add some details. You can use this um, thick brush or you can get a skinnier brush from the sink area and you can maybe add some tinier details on top. So maybe I want to add um, some trees over here. I can add some details on top. So one of your goals as well is to make sure you have some creative details added to 
your painting. So not just five values of color, but show some details that really make this picture come to life. So what do you want people to see when they look at this painting? Is it a landscape? Is it um, repetition of shapes? Or is it depth? Are you trying to show 3D forms? So think about what you want people to see when they look at this painting, okay? So again, when you're sketching this out, think of these details as coming last. This will be the last step. You'll add some details with your smaller um, paint brushes, okay? So sketching out the big details first, painting the big details second, then painting the smaller creative details third, okay?